I saw recently, and I want to prove this. Girls can't make machine gun sound. <laughs> What's that supposed to sound like? Make a machine gun. What's that supposed to sound like? Have you ever seen a movie with a machine gun? Make that. <laughs> I don't know that I can. Can't, you can't roll your tongue? I don't know that I can do that. Can you make Do it. Try it. I don't know that I can. <laughs> <laughs> These are so many different noises. Yeah, I know. This isn't even fair. Right. So make up your own. Let's go. Machine gun sound on the spot for our what? listeners. Go. I don't know. <laughs> every party must just want to go pew, pew, pew. Yeah. <laughs> So That's what girl every did. girl uh, has done. Pew, pew, pew. All right, ready? Or, go. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> I can't do it. I don't. You can't. I feel like that can roll thing. the tongue. I feel like I can, but not like a machine gun. Go. I can't. I know I can't. Do it. I want to hear no, it, though. I cannot. You're no fun. Just do it. Make a make a machine. What would you think of machine? I just Close told your you eyes. it says pew pew. Pew pew. Pew 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 pew. That's a silencer. All right, guys. And you're out pew, there, pew. ask your lady to it's make like, a machine gun sound. It's gotta be like <laughs> <laughs> See that was all lips. That wasn't bad though. Wasn't, that was, that sound, it sounded like Sounds like a juicy fire. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a minigun out of That's what Jeff's butthole sounds like. Oh, it was a couple minutes ago. <laughs> Actually, Jeff's butthole sounds like. I was fighting for my fucking oh life my in God. there. Jeff's butthole sounds like. <laughs> like a glass. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you, oh sir. Oh, my God. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah! Welcome back Can I to get the Gentleman's Den. <laughs> Kayla, Jeff, and Sean back down here with Chewy and Mama Cupcake. All the back, cat baby. booty hole you can suck. I don't even want it. I'm allergic to you. Oh. Jeff, what's happening? Will you get off your wife? <laughs> We're trying to record <laughs> She's a podcast. Allergic to me. <laughs> now you got cat tail. Get. You asshole <laughs> out of here. They're just so excited. They're thrilled. They've been They're gone so for two weeks. Their fans have been, uh, you know, I've been getting messages. Where them cats? Where them cats at? There's Where them here. cats be? There's them even cats an extra at. one now. There isn't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, before we get started, this podcast is brought to you by W. Go to W.com. I think it's W.GG. I don't w. even know G. what that is. W.GG. Type in the code TJD Pod and get ten percent off all your energy drink needs. Oh, no also, Chick-fil-A if you Chick Fil A sauce. Oh. <laughs> also, if you're looking for some custom sneakers, we won't say shoes, but sneakers. I call them shoes. They're sneakers. Go to Kicks and Canvas underscore two two three on Instagram. DM Jeff. He will set you up with everything you need to do. For him to make you some badass shoes. In fact, right behind him right now, he has got oh, some they go. his new shoes he just did, which are fucking awesome. Oh, thank you. And uh, also go to Small Town Infamous on Instagram. <laughs> Almost that? forgot your own shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> click on click on the link. That will take you to the store where you can buy merch. And we are also working on some new Gentleman's Den merch that will be up as well on that site that we use. (laughs) All the links are in the bios on our Instagrams. That is uh, TGD Podcast on Instagram. The hyphen Gentleman's hyphen Den. Hyphen, 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 hyphen. Yeah, my uh, (laughs) spreadshop.com. All the hyphens. Yeah, well, you know, we built those stores in 2019. <laughs> Long still, time, General. Yeah, they're Sp- still there. I wish you guys would uh, show a little love to us because fools is broke these days. Dad is broke. What was I just gonna say? No, I totally forgot. I guess we got a long time to. We, we got a lot of. We got an hour to fill, right? 
Boy, we could fill an hour on uh, what we watched last night <laughs> and what the nation and the world watched last oh, night. Oh, no. I don't that know. That was, uh, I that feel was like rough. If we're going to talk about that first, then I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about after. Yes. To lighten the mood. Oh, no, I'm, I don't plan on spending much time on it. but <laughs> As we shouldn't. I mean, it's people uh, who talk politics for a living can cover it more than uh than we can yes. but uh, jesus christ three I mean, <laughs> is this is this is this, this the is best happening. we can do three three idiots in a basement right now talking about politics is not i know nothing about politics all i know is i was angry and sad watching at the same time, at the same time. it's a really hard way to masturbate <laughs> <laughs> You were being off too? <laughs> the fact God. that you guys are masturbating to it is disturbing. Well, it's you got to get something good out of it, I guess. I was going to ask you, you got any more Zins? I oh, he just, just said it's empty. I just took my last yes. one. I mean, I could run to my car and get the new tin no, out there. No, I don't want you to run anywhere. I know. I'll be out of breath. I'll come back. <laughs> might not even make it back. Yeah. What? It's easy, man. My heart's all right right now. I'm just place. saying, if I had to run upstairs and then run back, I might not make it back. Well, you couldn't get up off the floor. Wow. Hey, those videos will be up on the wow. uh, the old TikTok. Soon. Cool. That was I didn't funny. see you getting attacked by the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did get mauled by the dogs. Oh. They gave you all the kisses and took your earrings out somehow, which was They did. Awesome. Both of my earrings. Oh, they full. It was like out. watching a, uh, a ba- like an <laughs> MMA Oh, they had full mount. They're so, full mount. They get like that sometimes where it's like they're not even like, they just like nibble. They're not being mean. Oh, well, they're playing. They're just playing. Yeah. And it's obnoxious because there's two of them. <laughs> I, got, I got a dog story too. So I broke out the foam roller today because actually since I've lost a little weight, I can actually crack my back now, which is awesome. Yeah. So I'm laying on, I put the foam roller down. I lay on it and instantly Stu jumps on my chest and I'm stuck because I was at like the perfect pivot point where it, I was getting ready to roll back. Yeah. And he just stuck. And I'm like, oh, shit. He just couldn't even move. I can't go anywhere. <laughs> and then he's in my face, just, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Like, dog, come on, buddy. I love dogs, man. Dogs are the best. People who don't like dogs, I don't, I don't know what, Something's what's wrong going on. I don't trust people that don't like dogs. I don't trust people that don't like right? dogs. Right? That was the Bill Murray saying. I don't trust people who don't like dogs, but I trust dogs who don't like people. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Actually, Every dog that I've ever seen be an asshole to a person is warranted. It's not like it's like a like mm. hmm. I've seen. Well, no, I mean like eh. we had a matter baby then. Well, you're yeah. here. Do- Our matter baby oh, just had a screw. Yeah, loose. yeah. <laughs> but like Stu when he met J O Yeo. Like oh well yeah I like I grab mean, him like, like whoa. I'm like wow, dude. That's pretty aggressive for that little guy. Yeah, did he smell his wad? No, I, th- I think he smelled, <laughs> smelled the uh, fake gangster on him. <laughs> he was like, I'll show you thug life. Oh. That's a battle I'd like to see. You should have just let him go. Oh, he ran. He ran from my dog. Yeah, yo, ran? Yeah. That a boy. And Stu's tiny. Dude, I gotta tiny. say, man, I miss I miss his motivational uh, d- Facebook. Just got my is. just got my workout in. <laughs> just got my, just did, did my workout. <laughs> what workout are you doing, man? I don't know. I wish I knew who you guys were talking about. Oh, it's a, a a guy we went to high school with, and he would he would post these like motivational videos about like uh, like grind back, hard, grind hard, get back to the program. He'd have yeah. like these wads of cash and then he'd be like $10,000 on the neck. Then showing like his Gucci t-shirt he bought and <laughs> spent a bunch of money on clothes. Living, living here in town in his parents' yeah. basement. And then he got busted for selling blow. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, as you do. Maybe he's uh, Stay preaching. Stay the course. Stay the course, homie. You're doing good, bro. Just keep... I work keep out grinding. every day. Keep grinding. You could get me. You could be like me too. In jail, and Aww. I'm arrested. Well, maybe he's giving Sucks speeches in jail. I don't know. I'm not retarded, but I like rocks. <clears throat> Do you crack rocks? <laughs> <laughs> it's basically what every time he talked. That's basically. What I heard. My lord. So uh, what else? Uh, we had the debate, Kayla. You, what was your positive? Uh, oh. 
So I have a question. Well, oh yeah, you were saying you said you were saving something for the podcast. So yeah, so I was talking uh, to this is um, a long tease. I was talking to a couple of ladies at work today. And we were talking about um, you know finding different sources of income so that we could quit our jobs because healthcare just stresses all of us out. So we we're talking about OnlyFans and uh, OF. What? Because you can't pronu- you can't say that or else they flag you. Because it's like... Are you shitting me? I'm being dead honest. Just like you can't say the P word. Pussy. That ends in orn. That's why they all say they're corn stars. Really? Yes. I did not know that. On what? All social medias. You can't say... Because it's because it's like you're promoting your site. And the and it's, you know, social media like Instagram and Facebook mm-hmm. and all that. And TikTok is all kids... There's kids on there. Kids like shouldn't that. be on any of that shit. So I agree. Corn stars. Corn stars. Okay. Well, on my, we were talking about. OF. Yeah, I can't say that. <laughs> Anyways. Um, only vans. Yeah. Only cans. With an F. Only cans. Anyways. And we were talking about foot videos, like selling pictures and videos of feet. Oh, man. And um, I was like, yeah, we could like make things with our feet. Mm-hmm. Talk slower. Like cakes. We can make cakes with our feet. There's, you really want to make a cake. Yeah, with you've your been feet. talking this two weeks in a row about. I know. How are you so going to crack cause the I was, eggs? Because I was talking to them about the. I don't, with my. I think feet. there's getting some shells in there. <laughs> oh, for sure. For sure. But Might so, be a... What's funny is I'm not. So <laughs> the girls at work were saying that they had said this to somebody too. And so I'm not about the only cakes? one. Yes. Making cakes with your feet. So we were what? talking about this and talking about all the weird things that we could put our feet into that people would pay to see us put our feet into. And Some so gap. I want to know. What I would want to see a woman put her feet into? Well, yeah, I want to know Nothing. what you guys feet would want to see. But also I want to know what all you weirdos on YouTube would want to see. I'm going with Gak. Do you remember Gak? Yeah. It came in like that star container. It's like the slime. It was, it was like slime. It sounds like a fart it. Yeah. Ew, stop, stop. It's so gross. <laughs> yeah, you can it sounds like your machine gun. So I promised the girls, I was like, I'll ask when we do the podcast. I want to know from everybody. I'm not a feet person at all. I don't understand the feet thing at all. Um, I mean, so don't get me I don't, wrong. I've never thought about a foot going in anything. Don't get me wrong. If you're with a lady, you would like her to have... You know, halfway decent looking feet. You don't want her looking like she could climb, snatch a swam and a salmon swimming upstream. You know. <laughs> oh boy. Um, like, because you want a manicured foot, because you don't want you know. Yeah, you, but what when, do you want to see that manicured foot go, go into? into? It's got to end or something. Oh, you guys are I'm being gross. maybe a bag, a nice big bag of marshmallows. <laughs> no, it's it's got to be something. And then I wanted to grab one and br- pull it out. Oh, since you're, a te- I could serve you marshmallows oh, with my feet. Kayla, you're just making dreams come true. <laughs> Happy anniversary, by the way. <laughs> yeah, twelve, 12 years. Twelve years, my Boop-boop. lady. Is it twelve years since the note, or twelve years? No, since twelve years since we started year, actually officially dating. dating. Yeah. Yeah, since she put it on Facebook. Wow. Yep. Wow, the f- the old FB official. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Can we say Facebook? Yeah, you just, <laughs> just can't say only cans. So yeah, I just wanted to know. I said I would ask. I wanted to know what everybody would like to see. <clears throat> yeah, a nice soft into. bag of marshmallows. Sure. I think since and you're, I since you're of the Italian variety, like a Don't lasagna, a pasta, like a lasagna, <laughs> some nice creamy pasta, so spaghetti, a, a little Alfredo, pick Stir up a stir it up, me- Ooh. Ooh, spaghetti and meatballs, pick up a meatball, throw it across the room with your toes. Yes. <laughs> Get funky with it. Yeah, okay. I don't know. No, I, I don't get the feet. I, I don't. I, I don't like either. Tits, but if I y'all want to see me put my feet in some things, I'll do it. So you're going to pay right, me well, for it. Send us a DM. Yeah, please. At uh, what is what's the gentleman's den? TGD podcast on Instagram. Isn't there an actual email? Email. The gentleman's den <laughs> pod at gmail dot. Call. All right, send us your fetishes, and Kayla will fulfill your fantasies. I got a couple ladies. But it's going to be my feed. <laughs> no, you'll know his hobbit feed. Bait and switch. Know. How dare you? Bait and Just switch. 
<laughs> we were even talking about doing videos together, like the three of us. I was like, that's six feet in total. You know what? <sighs> I'm glad you didn't say that it was five feet. <laughs> we should <laughs> like one person's got one We should like foot. reenact the scene from Ghost with the pottery scene, but we'll oh, but only feet. use our feet. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Can you just imagine? <laughs> I might get stuck, but we could try it. I want to see. I just want to see the pottery wheel that you're gonna use. <laughs> you're just gonna have me pushing your little shoe spinner around. <laughs> yeah, like I don't. What am I doing over here? Just, huh? You gotta get up. No, there. don't put that up there for free. What? Nobody can see my feet right now. I'll keep them back here I behind am. Jeff. I don't know. I watched you try to do that <laughs> trick today. <sighs> It seems, you know, when you, you're sitting here talking shit, it seems so easy when you're no, watching it, the it, video. It, no, I know it looks hard. And then I got down, I laid down, and I was like, uh. It looks very easy until you're on the ground, and you're like, wait a minute, how the hell am I flipping up there? Right, that's why I was like, I feel like you gotta, like, prep for it. But as a natural athlete, I mean, I conquered. <laughs> um, actually, Jeff did it quite quickly, yeah. He did. Phenomenal. Mm. You know what the next one we should do is the, uh, Folding chair where you gotta climb through the folding chair and sit back down without touching the ground. Oh yeah, no. Jeff's not gonna succeed at that. Like Maybe. how? I don't even I know. Can't I can't squeeze fit through a folding, through chair. The folding yeah. chair. You seen this gut? <laughs> You're an athlete though. You Natural. Yeah, I don't know. We were athletes once. <laughs> once. Many I, moons ago. I never was, so not ever. Not never, never, ever? Uh -uh. You weren't like a gym all-star? I did cheerleading when I was like five. You do like a back handspring when you were cheerleading? No, what? I'm just asking. If I strike, he was the type Kayla of was a... I th I th yeah, actually, Kayla was a jack look, of all trades. Actually, I think in your younger days, you might have been able to. I don't think I ever did. Like I said, I was like five. So, well, Sean yeah. was doing back hang springs at five. So. Never. I, can't even I, do even do I couldn't even do a cartwheel. I can't figure it out. Uh, oh it's the God. one thing I could never figure out was a cartwheel. I tried doing cartwheels. Have you tried doing a somersault lately? I do a somersault all the time. So I get into bed. <laughs> <laughs> In and out. In and out. Just flip out of the oh. bed. Yeah, I know. Somersaults, those hurt now. All that shit hurts. Walking up the stairs hurt. What are we yeah. talking about? Trying to do cartwheels is hilarious. And anytime I see kids like walking across rocks, I'm just like, oh, fuck. Some <laughs> Makes my feet hurt. Feet. I'm not going to lie. I think we just set up a thing of Legos and see if you can walk across them without saying anything. Yeah. I think that's a good challenge. If somebody bets me money, I'll do it. I'll do it just to do it. Nope. Yeah. Just to do it right now? I got Legos, bro. I might, well, we're kind of recording something right now. No. Afterwards, we can. Let's pause this and let's get you out there. Oh, for the those people. Legos. Oh. How about I shotgun a beer on this standing on Legos? Oh. oh. Let's quick, though. That's you can start quick. a new challenge. That'll be like the, the bucket challenge. The sh bucket challenge. Ooh, the shotgun. The Lego. Standing on Lego shotgun challenge yeah. presented by the gentleman's dad. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's get this rolling. But it's not even fair because you shotgun a beer in like yeah, I know. five seconds. Well, yeah, that sucks for everyone else because they got to stand on the uh, Legos longer. Man, five seconds is a long time. <laughs> it is. It's Count like to five. One, one thousand. He's already done. Two, one thousand. <laughs> three, one thousand. Four, one thousand. Five. Yeah. I, That's a lot. It'll take me five seconds to crack the beer, to put the hole in the beer and crack it and get it down. We're going to have to time them next time. Yeah, why we'll not? Time, yeah. I'll challenge BJ, Mr. I could... <laughs> I can, I can shout sh shotgun you. No, you can't. You'll never be able he's to. He's coming for you, BJ. BJ he's, he's he's you're never going to live this down. I, he can't beat me. <laughs> he wants to so bad. Oh, it's, it, you see it hurts his soul every time he loses. Yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> like, my, well, he's probably, this is what happens when you're dominating everyone for years, and then a stud shows up, and, you know, the, what are you going to do? My favorite... I'm sorry, it was the Halloween party at his house, and we did the 16-ounce cans, and I looked at him and let him start. <laughs> and then I went. 
And he just looked at me. He's like, just how? rubbing it Little in. do you know, he's been practicing ever since. Dude, he could be shotgunning maple syrup and I'll still beat him. <laughs> <laughs> he's been doing a montage. <laughs> Every movie's got a montage. I think he's putting it together. He said he's editing it. He's Good. chugging montage. I... I am officially awesome. challenging you again. Oh no. oh, no. It's an official challenge. I'll call him right now on the show and challenge him. Oh. Have you seen those videos of them dudes who, like, chug a pitcher in, like, fucking one second? Yeah, they, they'll is, open the throat and just... How, how is that even pot? Just... Huh, I, huh. I wouldn't trust myself. I, I would drown in, <laughs> with the beer. Just that much beer that fast. Like, even now, if I were to do, like, a beer Man bomb, show. Like, I just got, like... The dude from the man show yeah. back in the day. Two beers. <laughs> One after the other. Just whoop, whoop. Whoop. Big. Big beers. Mugs. That's crazy. But I used to chug water a lot. Like, Was that, like Did it, you have your own montage? Your own training? No, but, like... Yes. When I'm... Yes. Even now, like, if I... Outside doing yard work or whatever, I go inside, grab a gallon of water, crack it, and I just go. Yeah. And I can get about a half gallon down before I put it down. Jesus. Yeah, and then I'm like, all in my gut. <laughs> <laughs> Were you a chugger, babe? I didn't like the way you asked that. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you Probably mean? it was a very normal question. One That's who chugs. A normal question. Were you like a beer bong type of gal? Or were you just kind no, of a sip do, and chill? I didn't do very many. Jeff was a... But I used... I mean, I feel like there weren't very many like beer bongs like at the parties I was at. Prime... Like, keg what? stands for sure. Oh, okay. Lots of keg stands. Prime Jeff can sh- can funnel some beers. He's a beer bonger. Beer yeah, and you, you would do like Bud Lights too, which was oh. weird when you when you first were drinking beers. It was Bud Lights for a long time. Then you switched to the Coors. yeah. Well, you know you you broke growing up, so you just get what you get. I remember we used to get the the Miller High Life Light because it was like thirteen dollars, maybe like twelve bucks. I don't wow, know for a thirty still, pack. That was still bougie. We had Keystone. Keystone. It's just ass scrapings of Coors Light. Mm-hmm. But. Yeah, That's I used the to, bottom of the mountain. <laughs> Milwaukee's Milwaukee's best ice. Ooh. I did twenty five of those in a, one night. Twenty five beer bongs in one night. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. With Sambuca toppers. Oh no. Oh. So it'd be beer, 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 black licorice. Gross. Ew, fucking so black gross. licorice can suck it. Do that shit all the time. People who like feet and people who eat black licorice. I, where are you? I. What's going on here? Ooh. I I can't drink like that ever again like no. I used to. There's no, no way possible. I don't understand how I did it. I don't understand how I could drink a full bottle of pucker before I went to the bar. <laughs> It'd still be functioning. <laughs> yes. I know it's weird when you get older because like we're it just switches. Like there's no way I could do fucking even five beer bongs right now. I would be wrecked. Yeah. You just wrecked. I'd go to bed. I just the amount of pressure in your gut after doing that many beer bongs, the burps. Mm-hmm. Need some gas X. Oh, just some Pepto. the pain. We murdered beer bongs. Yeah, like, I don't know. Was it just being young and just not knowing? <laughs> or we just I just think we were, out. I just think we were just we started so young that we got used to it and just hammer, hammer, yeah. hammer, hammer. Dude, I we, mean this is the drunkest state in the nation. Shout out Wisconsin. That's so sad. Did you see the map? So the, I don't know what it is. Barstool yeah. Sports or something. Yeah. I don't. Something the posted the uh, 10, fifty or fifty, yeah, 50, 50 drunkest, drunkest counties in the state. Yeah. And Wisconsin was like, and like forty of them. Yeah, I don't There's, know if that's something to be proud of. But hey man, you you got to shoot for something. Got to be good at something. You got to be the best well, at something. Let's be honest. Why we, not be the best got, at drinking? We've got three months of good weather. Yeah. Maybe. So everything we do, I mean, don't get me wrong. The winter, we drink too because we're sad and it's cold. It's depressing. Everything's gray and... Everything we do do in Wisconsin, everything you do in the summer 
involves drinking. Yep. That's Everything. why it's not a good diet season. You go to a barbecue, drinking. And Kids' birthday party. Drinking. <laughs> drinking. What, what it is, too, is you think about it. When you're, like, getting all cut up in winter is the worst time to do it because your body is trying to save the fat for the heat. It's and you what well, you do and is I you, just keep pouring more on. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's to keep your body temperature. You you insulate. So we're like hibernating bears. Basically, yeah. So <laughs> so you got to flip it up. Not as bad as. You work out all winter and then summer, Well, the winter is when you drink whiskey and the summer it keeps you warm. The summer is when you eat all the bad shit. That's awesome. Ice cream and Fun stuff, mm-hmm. and then snow cones. Yeah, well, that's just with liquor in them. Yeah, we've done that. <laughs> so something the, something the, about the warm water or warm water, warm weather, makes me want to just drink too. Well, and you're sweating all your, you're thirsty. I'm that's like, why I've. I, I just want to drink. I've definitely changed as I gotten older. I used to just drink whatever beer. Let's just get hammered. And now that I've got older, like I want it to be refreshing. Well, and it's also you don't want the hangover. Yeah, oh, but I just, man, if I'm going to sit around I two know. inches away from. <laughs> yep, I saved it. I just, I just want to be, I want a nice, refreshing drink. Yeah. I don't want a beer. It's hot out. Plus, it's you doing shit for me. it. So bloat it from yeah. the beer. God, we're old. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome getting old, kids. Yep. It's great. It's so I great. love it, though. You love it? You love getting old? Yeah, I mean, shit. Look, at this, look at this body. <laughs> <laughs> Built by macaroni and cheese. Oh, yeah. My 12-year-old palate. I'm just going to put Can that Can you on. imagine if I liked all kinds of food? I'd be 400 pounds right now. <laughs> food is delicious, though. It's good. It is. It's good. Would you give up food or liquor? Liquor. <laughs> I gotta survive, sir. Yeah, I can't just survive on liquor. All right. There's only Bad so question. many. There's only so many barley sandwiches you can eat. I don't know. Oh my God, Chewy's He's back. For some. He's coming in. Come on, Jew. Okay, Dad. Are you caught up on uh, the boys? I have not watched since uh, midpoint of season two. What? I thought you were balls deep in that. No, I uh, I lost interest. What? Which is weird because I like that show. But you know, second season's coming out though soon. Mm. Peacekeeper. Oh, really? That was a good show. That was funny as shit. I we really I really wanted us to do the dance at your guys' wedding. <laughs> that would the so intro. Funny. I think they're changing it. I heard this season. Or I read something. It's about a new. It. It's a new dance this season. A new dance. But dude, I was I gotta tell you, like uh well we just watched the last episode. The main guy, I think Anthony Starr, mm-hmm. he plays uh Homelander. His fucking this last episode was like fucking crazy, dude. Like I don't know, like you talk about like the Joker movie and this and that, like he's honestly probably the most diabolical character I've ever seen. Like it is it's pretty chilling. Evil. I because he's like unraveling this season, and it's like fucking maddening. I, th- I think, when I got turned off of the show, I believe was when he was uh, on top of the uh, building, jerking it. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, wow, that's real. That's a lot of ego. Right but that's there. what it is. He's just he's, it's it's yeah. Superman if he was a narcissistic, just fucking maniac. This is true. It's wild to me. Well, it's a fucking, I love that show. Absolutely love that show. Because you never know what the fuck's going to happen. It's so good. Mm-hmm. I uh, purposely did not watch the new season of The Bear today. Oh, the whole season's out? I believe so. It's one of those ones where I love when they launch the whole season because I got, I got time on my days off where I can just binge, which I got to stop doing because then I watch it in a day and then yeah two weeks later it's already out of my brain yeah that's what's hard about those is uh i do i do like the binge but yeah then it's done and it's it's over 
But it's like, like Game of Thrones, though. It's it sucks waiting a fucking week. Like the House of the Dragons is out mm. now, so it's only watched two episodes. Been fucking two weeks. I'm like, God damn it. Yeah, it's uh, patience. Like I, I love Shorzy, man. I love Jared Kiso, the guy that wrote for Le- that did Letter Kenny, and he's doing Shorzy. Uh, I think he's a comedic genius. And Canada comedy is different than you know American comedy for sure. But I just I think his writing's really smart, and there's a lot of heart in it. What do you think is different about it? I don't know. I mean, look at Trailer Park Boys. Do you think there can be a American version? Do you of think Trailer that Park they just Boys? they just uh, put out weirder stuff? Takes more chances. Like America's more about. I just think. Will it's, this make money? I just think and it's more the, about let's let's just do it. That's I just think funny. it's the the comedy. It's it's more. Uh, I don't know. It's I, I don't know how to explain it. It's it's less forced. Is it more like we don't give a shit? Like if this makes it, it makes it. If it don't, well, I just feel like they're um, more. How do I word this? Like they take more. Like they just don't give a shit. Like they don't care if they're gonna offend somebody. Like they're just gonna be. Yeah, fun. cancel culture doesn't. It seems like it didn't make its way up there. Yeah, like they still are making jokes that here would people would be all offended by it. Where I feel like, yeah, like Canadian comedy is, they're just more open to things. One of my favorite, still one of my favorite trailer park boys was, yeah, I ate the five cans of ravioli, but, you know, you don't want to admit that you ate five cans of ravioli. (laughs) (laughs) I love that show. It was good. It was great. And it was nice because, yeah, like you said, uh, well, I haven't watched uh, Letterkenny or Shorzy, but uh, trailer park boys was, it was half hour episode, so it was easy to binge. Very much so. It's still going, too, isn't it? I believe so. Jesus Christ. I just like the fact they get arrested at the end of every episode and get out of jail <laughs> at the beginning of the Every, every season? Every season, yeah. yeah. That's funny. What's your show right now, babe? Anything? Uh, no. The Gilded Age or something no, without it's electricity? Not out right now. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I got caught up on Bridgerton. That was wonderful. Oh, yeah. That was really good. Otherwise, it's just the Chicago shows. Those are caught up or done. I don't know. I can't keep up. They usually come out around football season. So then but, we get the football, and you guys get the the uh, Chicago PD fire. Yellowstone and is coming back out in November or something like that. I don't know. What happened with Kevin Costner? He's not on it anymore. He was like the main guy. He was banging people again. I think he's still he's on still it. He's still on Mm-mm. it. He's done. Kevin Costner is not doing Yellowstone. Well, now you just ruined my life. Well, <laughs> oh my heavens. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that is? That's a random cat that Kayla has brought into our docile. Oh, and, uh, st- domicile. It's not a domicile. random cat. It's not like I just picked her up Kayla. off the street. Microphone discipline. I can't even hear you. Our listeners... She's saying. They can hear me hear. just fine. Okay. But Marley is not just a random cat. Um, I just got a message from Dano the Mano. Really? And asked, hey, ask Jeff if he will do a pair of shoes for the Lake Lovers Club. Oh, for sure. I love the lake. You got the, you know, the. I've lo- got the, well, got I've got the, the koozie. Koozie. Um, what are we talking about? Yellowstone. Can yeah. we get, let's find Costner. this out? I don't believe you. I swear I to know, God, you, you always say stupid shit, and it ends up. Being I know. I true. say dumb. I I know random. Uh, which is why, why do I, I even so know? I don't even watch Yellowstone. This. I don't like Yellowstone. But yet I know Kevin Costner is not in don't Yellowstone anymore. Don't lie to the people. You would sit and watch it with me. Uh, yeah, I've seen two episodes. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I can't lie to the people. I would never. It's a good show. Sean's deep in the Google. I am I just watched a movie. What? I did, just I now? Just watched no. a Was it movie? the no. shortest movie? No, I just remember. The, I, I couldn't remember the name of the movie because it's, <laughs> it's the ministry. We're on a podcast, man. You're watching a movie? No. I just watched a movie. No. 
uh, the Ministry of <laughs> Ungentlemanly Warfare. Yeah. Have you seen any of the previews for that? Uh-uh. One hell of a movie. It it's like in glory. What's it about? It's Guy Ritchie. Not it's Kevin a, Costner. It's Guy Ritchie. Ooh, it's Guy a Ritchie. Guy Ritchie movie. Right. I'm gonna look this up. I'm in Guy and Ritchie. And it's all right. British Prime Minister Winston Churchill and a group of military officials hatch a daring plan to neutralize Hitler's fleet of German U-boats during World War II. It is great. Really? It is a really good movie. Brutal. Brutal in some scenes. But it is a really good movie. Uh, Henry fiction? Henry Cavill's in it. Oh, Kayla. Uh, Hero Phineas Tiffin. What? I don't know who that guy is. Henry Golden. Uh, Till Swigener uh, or Swigener. He was a uh, say goodbye to your Nazi balls. In in, <laughs> in Glorious Bastards, he was uh, St- Hugo Stiglitz. Um, I don't. Remember and Carrie that. Elwes. I think I only seen Inglorious Bastards once. Carrie Elwes, aka. Not enough to. Princess Bride, a.k.a. Oh, I know that guy. Okay, he, He's in it as well. It was Days a, of Thunder. Yes. Russ Wheeler. Russ Wheeler, baby. <laughs> but yeah, it was a really good movie. I, I bought it. I paid the oh, $14. That good. Wow. I don't remember the last time I bought a movie. I think okay. maybe, no, The Joker was a gift. Hmm. Also, Costner will not be in the next. Ah, fucking told you. No, well, well I why he, did he was, explain why? Because he was banging chicks, right? I think he was filming I didn't his. I see anything about that. But. His new western that just came out. I think he was filming That's that. Horizon no, he's something. filming that because he's not in Yellowstone anymore. Trust I me, know. I know things. Yeah, something to do with a disagreement on something. I don't know. I'm not deep diving right now. Well, I'm what I heard but. is when he was filming Waterworld, he was like banging some chicks, and then his wife was leaving him, and all kinds of crazy shit. And supposedly he's banging chicks again. <laughs> What's it have to do with him being on Yellowstone? Hey, man, he's going through some shit. I don't know. I don't care who he's banging. Kevin Costner out there just slinging dick. That's his business, not ours. I know. I think Kevin uh, Costner's got the... Uh... But it was a horse. Oh, well, it was I guess... a horse this time. Do you think Kevin Costner's got a pocket full of blue chew at all time? Um, not a I sponsor, think he's just, but we, uh... would, we would love to have you as a sponsor, blue yeah, chew. come on, blue chew. <laughs> You know what, Manscaped, why don't you too? We, we can always use the yeah, ball Yeah, come on. Trim these balls. <laughs> oh, my God. Get these balls. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Do you think he's just got it fucking right to the vein or what? I don't know, man, because he's got to be late 60s now. Yeah, he's still a pretty good-looking gentleman. Kevin Costner might still have his fastball, right? What do you think, baby? I just think he just says, hey, I'm Kevin Costner. I think he's good looking for his age. I don't know what his age is, just way older than me. So. You never know. Maybe he's got that hammer on him. He might. Oh, Jesus. He My might. feet almost pulled this cord I just down. Don't we get... should have made a video about it. Oh. I have so many ideas. <laughs> I need more ideas, though. Well, I think next podcast, we just put our feet up on the table. No, I'm out. And no, then we just, we, just, we just smash a cake the whole time. <laughs> Sorry, the only f- nope. the first one's free. Kayla, you gotta give him a little no, tease. No, it needs to be on only cans. Oh, my <laughs> lord, lonely mans. Lonely, lonely mans. mans. I have all the feats for you. How much is it for? Uh, so you only fans is you get like one person. So you don't like get a subscription and you can look at other. So you just like, I want to see her tits. Yeah, it's basically it's basically supporting content creators. Uh, <laughs> is that what you call it? Just yeah. like when I go That's to the strip club, what I'm it is. supporting single moms. They are creating like, content. Is that what you're telling me right so, now? Like when are you supporting like, single moms? When the old OF came oh, out, boy. it was more for, it was like a Patreon kind of setup where you, yeah. And then, and then how did it turn into the... Uh, because the pandemic hit and can't work at a strip club anymore if you can't give a lap dance to somebody. Okay, so people that used to go see them at the club would pay for their... So And most of, a lot of them, unfortunately, uh, they have no actual real talent in life. 
So is anyone... I don't know. If they can swing around that pole, that's pretty talented. You know, we talk but about... that's the only talent, though. We talk yeah. about wage gap. You know, men, uh, women are upset because they don't make as much in the workforce. Is there, like, the reverse going on on OnlyFans? Like, if I was on there, could I say, like, we're not getting fair pay as a man? <laughs> no, man. No. It's, we're men. Yeah, your feelings don't matter. All right, that was a joke, but you How? guys don't want to play my games. <laughs> what do you want me to say? I don't know. Play along. No, sure. You be treated equally, especially if you were selling your but, foot picks. Okay, let me ask you a Those question. Those womanly feet. No, you can't. Okay. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> All right, I'll allow it now. All right, so besides men of the um, homosexual variety, mm -hmm. do you think women are actually buying dudes only fans to watch them just beat their hogs? Someone's got to be. Yeah, it's what isn't that? The straight dude it is just it's it's <laughs> weird to me how women don't want to see dudes like beat off but guys want to see girls shove anything up their ass or vagina it is weird it's because you guys are strange men are strange like oh fuck you got to look at this like we're showing everybody <laughs> we're visual learners sir. <laughs> <laughs> why do you plus think, our eyes why do you like think, the movement why you do you know? think the action Jesus. movies why do you think the action movies sell so good with men <laughs> oh yeah because it's just Think about it. If we throw it, Kayla. If, if you throw a rock off a bridge and it hits the water, you're like, yeah, Hell that yeah. was awesome. Look at that splash. We're high fiving. Yeah. A girl throws a rock off the bridge. She's like, I wish it was attached to your feet so you could go with it. That's fair. Devious. You guys are evil. I never know what's going on in that. We were talking about that today, too. Just wanted to murder me at all times. No, you'd be dead by now. Fighting the urge every day. Those intrusive thoughts, I can't let them win. Like if he's dead and I'm in jail, who's gonna take care of these children? I can't kill him. Not till they're eighteen. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Graduation day, there might be some murder. Ah, fuck, man. There might no. be some Bobby Schmurda going on. Kids, don't grow up. Don't grow up. No. Stay young forever. We were talking today about how women would make the best PIs. Yeah, oh, yeah. you guys we can dig it up on shit this show. From, you can dig up shit from years ago. Remember that Tuesday, fifteen years ago, when you said, "I don't want you to, <laughs> I don't want you to act <laughs> like your mother." That. Well, there was that one. So one of your friends, unfortunately, her uh, husband was cheating on her at the bar. Didn't come home. You guys went to the bar. Oh, yeah, got the footage the video. and found a random strange girl within 24 hours. You're at her front door. Sure were. <laughs> sure were. It's funny. You 24 bring that up. hours, man. People, people, they were at this bitch's house. It sure did. Pulled right up, left my car running. I said, all right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the world's greatest detectives. Why I'm. I keep Kayla close because I know if I ever if I ever do date somebody, I don't have to ever worry about that girl cheating. Because <laughs> nope. I got I got old Knuckles McGee next to mm -hmm. me here. That's gonna be laying lumps. I'm gonna have to fuck her up and all her Fucking friends that knew about it. Carmen so. San Diego. That's that's why we, our circle is awesome because if we found out that someone was being cheated on, everybody's <sighs> life is ruined. Yeah, it just. They get chopped. What was Carmen San Diego? She was a detective, wasn't she? she? No, she was a thief. A thief. And uh, we were the detective trying yes. to find her. That's what it was. Yes. I couldn't remember what the wow. fuck that shit was. Oh, hey, by the way, shout out to your sister, Michelle. Yeah? They were at Trackside. Okay. Eager on Beaver? The, on the Snapchat. Eager Be I couldn't remember the name of the, the original name of Trackside. And it's been bothering me for two months. The skate barn. Yes. Yeah. I couldn't remember it. You can call me. <laughs> do we actually do that? Did no. It? No. We fucking dwell on the shit until it because drives us insane. Because you want to figure it out yourself. Yeah. Until it drives us bad. actually insane. Uh, no, I ask everybody. And f I finally, I messaged her. I go, I said, Burlington? Question mark. Yeah. Is that where we used to go for Eager Beaver? I can't think of the name of the place. 
I think only our grade school because we used to get the first of all there's a beaver roller skating yes on the on the wall inside but we would get the coupons to go there I don't know half off or something and there would be a beaver roller skating on it so we called it eager beaver and everyone knew what we were talking about apparently we were the only ones because anytime I bring up eager beaver to anyone who didn't go to Lakewood they have uh no clue no idea what the fuck I'm talking about and you would rant somewhere. we had hey, man. we had two things at Lakewood Eager Beaver and the Friday Flyer. The Friday Flyer. I don't all, remember the Friday Flyer. The, so the Friday Flyer, all it was was like, what's happening at the school? Every Friday they'd give it okay. to you, so you take it home and give it to your parents. Oh, I they do that. remember this. Still to this day, all the schools do it. But it was hilarious in sixth grade, my teacher, every time we'd be leaving, she'd be like, Friday Flyer, Friday Flyer, Friday <laughs> Flyer, Friday Flyer. Friday, Friday, Friday. <laughs> and shout out Miss Hamilton. We just wanted to play. We're young pups. I just want to play. She's That's so like, crazy. I I laugh growing up out here because we were feral in the sticks of fucking, Wisconsin. We were feral children out here. I mean, there were feral children in Kenosha. Well, yeah. Just yeah, there's feral children everywhere, but more. yeah, it's just uh, you didn't have to worry about nothing out here, though. Fortunately, yeah. you know, you just you just fucking go out. You ain't got to worry about getting fucking robbed or every now, shot out here. Every you're now, just, you're gone. My mom didn't know where the fuck I was. Every now and then, there'd be the one creepy dude. That there'd would, be no worry that you, you just, just came home. Like, fuck you, and just take off on your bike. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't grow up in a bad area, so we didn't, I mean, we didn't worry about any of that either. Okay. Well, I just know, like, when, you know, when I left, my mom knew I was coming home later. Probably with some, maybe a broken bone or a bunch of scrapes and a broken tire or chain on my bike. But that was about it. Grass-stained knees. Oh, yeah. She hated the old grass stains. Fucking laundry. God. All the holes in the knees. There's only so much shout you can use. (laughs) Yeah. Just scrubbing those bastards. God. Old school days. Yep. These damn kids nowadays don't know how good they got hooked. Fuck. The good old days. So if anyone's out there and wants to uh, challenge Sean to a chug off, um, feel free to send your videos. You got to stand on Legos, though. Big Legos or little Legos? Doesn't matter. It's got to be a pile of Legos. The Duplo, not like the big, big, not the not the Duplo block. (laughs) Yeah, not the bricks. Not the ones meant for toddlers. Yeah, I mean those actually would probably hurt less. Legos, right? That's what I'm saying. You want the little Danny? Yeah, the yellow, the green, the white, the black little guys. Yeah, the ones that you could build like little cars out of and shit. Oh yeah, those wheels, those hurt. They keep on turning. I don't know. Jeff the other day stepped on what was it? My swimsuit? I think my swimsuit top was laying on the floor. Yeah, I don't know what that was. He came out the bathroom, stepped on it, and he's like, "God damn it!" It's weird how fast you 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 go to that other foot. Like you don't even fully put pressure on it. You like start putting pressure on it, and then you're like, "Ah, oh, fuck." Well, it's like right before you hit your head. Like you're standing up and you're you kind of tense up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, get that little in your neck, like, yeah. this is going to hurt. And then it does. And then it does. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> well, don't I, lie. I might have had a minor concussion at your guys' wedding because of that shower rail. Oh. <laughs> oh <laughs> I Didn't you get at that it. thing twice? Three twice. Times? Twice. And getting oh, in, shit. then getting out. Oh, my. I don't know why. I just was at the right height, and I thought I ducked under it and stood up and Oh man! I thought I thought I was gonna take going in and getting out. I thought I cut my head open. (laughs) I hit it so damn hard. Imagine I I would. He's bleeding. It was that hurt. Like that was the neck compression one where like it everything hurts. Uh, You can't even like scream yet. You're just like got your teeth and you're You're like you start laughing. Yeah. It's like, how did I fucking do that twice? It's like a cry, like a couple tears fall. Cry for help. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that. Oh, man. 
smashing your head when you're not ready for it is always. I or, feel like even if you're ready for it, I wouldn't. It, it hurts less. Uh, I don't know. It hurts less when you know it's coming. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Just like those videos mm-hmm. of the guys that shin themselves on the trailer hitch. Oh. Yeah, that's rough. That hurts oh. so bad. That's the worst. Worst pain. <laughs> A shin shot off of any. Like stubbing <laughs> your toe hurts. But just wrecking your shin on a trailer hitch is just, yeah, oh. Sucks. Have you ever hit your toe, though? Like, I can't be the only one. Where I've, like, stubbed my toe, like, let's say on the edge of the bed. But, like, here's my pinky toe, and here's, like, the corner of the bed. And I, like, hit it just perfectly to the point where, like, my pinky toes, like, gets all, no. like, gets crooked. Crooked? <laughs> where you almost feel like you got to set it. Yeah, like, it just, like, hits in between my pinky toe, like, right here. And I'm like, God damn it. No, I do I've it never quite gone, often. I've never had it go in between my toes. Like, well, it's not like it's like I'd, I'd have to show you on your toe. And it's not. And it's, <laughs> like, if you hit someone with your big toe, it hurts. But not for hurt. free. Not for free. We're not. Showing but if you it. hit one of them, like your Don't pinky toe, those. or your the toe next to the mm-hmm. pinky toe, that's like yeah. tear, <laughs> almost tear inducing. Yeah, it doesn't feel good. And then mm. I do that hop around, and I won't even look at my toe. Ooh, you kind of drag it. I won't look at it. Like, when the kids stub their toe, and Bella, like, Bella, she'll start crying. And I'm yeah. like, don't, just don't even look at it. If you don't look at it, it'll be okay. But the second you look at it, it's going to hurt worse. Mm. I don't know if that works. It does. Doesn't? Oh, well, for me. Fact. I don't know. For me, it works. It's one of those ones where you do it, and you just bite down and keep walking, and you just talk to yourself, God, I'm such an idiot. Why the f- Yeah. I I'm just stare at my toe. You stupid, weak, <laughs> little fucking piggy. <laughs> wee, you wee, should. wee. Why didn't you wee, wee, wee out of the way? <laughs> you motherfucker. That's how you do it. Oh, okay. You got to let that fucking toe know he's. Well, next time I stub my toe, I yeah. will, I'll yell Just at it. Just look at it, it how weak it is. shout at it and tell it it's a piece of shit. Okay. And not to do that anymore. I'll try that. My favorite is when you do it and then you punch the object that you <laughs> kicked. <laughs> so now your toe and your hand hurt. <laughs> Those are the best when people like they get mad and so they do something else and then they get fucking hurt again. <laughs> like uh, the, whatever they throw like comes back and hits them in the face. I go, no, that is not what I had in mind. No, not at all. But it happens. It does. So we were supposed to have a pool day today. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this week has sucked, so. It's been a rough two weeks. Stress level's been through the roof, and I'm like, I text Jeff on Wednesday, and I'm like, pool day Friday. It looks like it's going to be clear. I wake up this morning, <laughs> go outside, and it's raining, and I just go. I text Jeff, and I said, Mother Nature's a twat. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, it's, it wanted you to just, you sit there, and you stew. I know, because Jeff told me that you were going to come over. I was like, maybe I'll leave work a little early. And then it was raining, and I was like, fuck it. I'm not going to leave early. What's the point? No, but but I was like, tell Sean I need to get fucked up. So. <laughs> yeah. It's... He's getting together. And here you are. Are you fucked up? No. <sighs> I mean, I feel good. I mean, I'm she got beat up, up by the dogs. God damn it. You were assaulted. I was assaulted. They ser- Both my earrings. They took out both of my earrings. Tails yeah. wagging, full speed, all happy. Oh, the video is so funny because it was like, yeah, like they were doing like MMA moves on you, like yeah. what, like side control and you and guys full just, mount. Yep, you guys just sat there. It and was watched. hilarious. What are we supposed to do? Save I was, me. I was filming for you to do your the trick. Save me. Yeah, no, that's a lot harder than it looks. Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe if I was completely sober and I really tried it, but I think a, a different chair might have helped. too. I don't know. Um, it just I, seems impossible when you're down there. <laughs> what? It seemed impossible, like to, to go know. from a flat lying position <clears throat> to somehow get your entire body up off the floor. Uh, yeah, I don't know about these. Well, those people that we watched probably had athletic prowesses. I don't know. That's why they it's funny when we try it. Fit. They were also young. 
probably one of those pole dancers, you know? I do want to try that Limber. challenge where, like, you are supposed to, like, sit on each other's <clears throat> laps pretty much and then lay backwards. Okay. Mainly because it's going to be hilarious and not work. No, it's definitely not going to work for us. But it'd be funny. <laughs> You'd rest your head right on my belly. It would be fun. <laughs> My head on your belly. Put my belly on your back. Yeah, oh, come on, baby. Shot a big black. <laughs> big black. Oh. That was the time, huh? Oh. Activity Did goal you win? achieved. Apparently. Would I don't you, know what activities you, I'm you, doing. Would but... you hit your 10,000 steps sitting in a chair? Apparently. That takes talent. Ooh, I reached my move goal. Oh, must have been you. Must I'm have been swelling. Does swelling in that chair? Does your watch tell you to move? Yeah, like it'll tell me to stand it, up. Like if you're too stagnant. Yeah, if I sit like if I sit for too long, it'll tell me. You should just have it play that uh, ludicrous song. <laughs> just move, bitch. Move, bitch. I think about it every day <laughs> when you're just knocked on the couch. You know, one of them days, and that thing goes off, you just look at it and be like, fuck you, watch. Well, yeah, I don't get up when it tells me to. If there's one thing about me is when you tell me I need to do something, I probably won't. Mm -hmm. And if you tell me I can't do something, well, I'm going to fucking do it. You can't suck my dick tonight. <laughs> well, except for that. <laughs> I will say so thank you. So there's that. I will nice say thank try. You, sir. you can try and suck it, but you can't. No, no, no. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> no. Not tonight. No, no. You stay. You back off, you <laughs> vixen. Cock goblin. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Once this is over, I'm just going to night. So. Oh, honey. Night. I, what do you mean? It's our anniversary. Let's pull out the right. nines. I got no. roses. You're going to rub my back. He bought two road flares. You better so not. So he could celebrate you. Celebrate it. No. Mm-mm. Jeff puts on cleats now. Get better get traction. traction. Come on now. Oh boy. What are we at? Just about there. Yeah? yeah. Me too. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Recharge on this guy is impressive. Ooh. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I feel like you two need to sit next to each other. You know what? Hey. Please get us some kind of traction so we could get Jeff into a nose doctor to get that deviated oh, septum. Oh, yeah. love of God. Man. Or else we're going to do it live on the podcast with a hammer and chisel. Yup. It's rough. Just a it's a rough life. I can't. Just keep I don't. Going. I don't know. I don't know what it's like to breathe out okay, of Okay, but nose the problem properly. is he also won't take, like, I think I've gotten him to take allergy medicine one time. And part twice. Of it, no, what? Twice. Yes, I've taken it twice. When? When you yell at me. You took to it go once. over there and take that you took allergy it once. medicine. I've taken it twice. I took it just recently. Remember, I went over there and I said this shit with the brown, the purple cap. I thought that was the first time you took it. No, that was the second time. Oh, taking it. Did it help you? I don't know because I'm already stuffed up. What do you want me to do? It's like having a headache. Did it? Did it work? I, I mean, I guess. Or did I just gone? take a good nap? I mean, you could drink a, you could chug a gallon of orange juice. It gets citrus burns on your tongue. Is that yeah? Don't do that. So what are we talking about here? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe try taking an allergy pill Maybe I pill do every have uh, allergies. We'll try it, but. You're not going to. I can't breathe out of my nose. It doesn't even when my nose is clear. If I breathe in heavily through my nose, my nostrils just. Instantly close up. They're open. No, this one's actually. They're open. Nothing's though. even happening. <laughs> He's special. How about a neti pot? And just special empty boy. It, see if we can Those get scare a, me. See if you get all the. Just boil the... some water and just get up in there. Get up in that stem. That hot. Stem. I think the worst thing is like when he's eating. Because it's just... Because I can't breathe out of my nose, so I have uh, to chew with my mouth open. Yes. <laughs> On most occasions. Not every time. Yeah, not every time, but most of the time. 
What's the worst food you could eat where you have to have your mouth open? Like you have to chew with your mouth if, open? If or you you're had, saying yes. If like, you're chewing with your mouth open, it's the worst no, to like listen to? No. What, like visually and steak. audio wise, think of steak because it's just so. You just I had it for a mm, while. I can't stand listening to you or anybody chew on gum. But I love gum. And there's something about you and somebody else. Gum with a G. Somebody else at work that likes to chew on gum that makes me just I'm. Oh, I love gum. You know, I'm I will throat punch somebody like I so bad. The more gum, the better too. I like a fat wad of gum. I can't stand it. Yeah, Chewing I'm with a, your mouth open. Just like if ugh. someone offers me a stick a of gum, piece. I need two at least. Like two. come on, bro. Don't be stingy. You know you ain't got one piece in your mouth. Like, uh, who gets one thing of gum? Not the icebreaker ice cubes, but the other ones, the just the regular the orbits yeah. ones. I take four of those. I gotta do four. Yeah, of those. at least uh, the icebreaker ice cubes, uh, three, at least. Well, the flavor I feel like doesn't last very long on those. Nope, those are pretty stripe. good. Oh yeah, fruit stripe. Which oh, should I be Jeff's those. nickname. Fruit stripe. Yeah, because <laughs> it doesn't last that long. Oh. We should do. It. I'll put one in my mouth, and we'll see what goes. What, if the, do we lose the flavor first, or I ejaculate first? You want to oh. try that? We'll do get. You, do you see who just came down? That's a munch. Our We're daughter. We're almost done. Go All back right. Upstairs. This oh, podcast is in shambles now. Such a creep. <sighs> Actually, yeah. I think we're in about an hour now, aren't we? Actually, yeah, 59 let's go. Minutes. Perfect time. We can shut her down and uh, you want to come say goodbye. Come back next week. Look how excited she just got. She's <laughs> like, yeah, I do. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye and oh. good night. Oh, that's a special look. Yeah, it's a special girl, just like her special father. <laughs> That brings us to a close to another episode of The Gentleman's Den. Remember to go to w.gd. GG. Use the code TGDPOD to get 10% off of any order you make. If you're looking for custom sneaks, kicks and canvas, underscore two, two, tree on Instagram. And, of course, Small Town Infamous on Instagram as well. For all your Gentleman's Den adjacent (laughs) needs. Until then, we'll see you next week. More guests coming. Just got some confirmations today. Yes, sir. We're excited. Yeah, if you want to be on, too, message us. And also, I still really want to know what you guys would enjoy seeing people's feet put into. Yeah, let us know. I pudding. Need ideas. Pistachio Ooh. pudding. Look at Ew, He's been pistachio. thinking. Pistachio. What? You're not eating it. I, and the reason why I say pistachio is because it's better than chocolate and it's easier to clean. How do you know that? Because I've gotten he pudding on both shirts. Chest hair. <laughs> <laughs> so I've yes, I give myself pudding facials. Yes. Bye, guys. Love you. See you next week. <laughs>